Thursday, October 1st, 2020. Couchella organizer reminds parents not to allow their children to attend unsupervised. Rachel Florencia confirmed to perform at Couchella 2020. Gail Neiman and Marukai Harukami to collaborate for new IP. Sorry, we're not open yet. Oh, Neil, you've come very early today. Is there anything I can help you with? There is definitely something that you can do. What is it? Can we work here? You need money or something? Excuse me, what? Is it possible for us to work here? Uh, why? We have learnt something precious since we have first arrived here. Communication is very important on Earth, and Earthlings communicate in a very complicated way. It blows our minds to learn that you need to mix between verbal and non-verbal communication here. Yeah, but I can see that your communication skill has improved an awful lot since you arrived. That is true. But it is not enough. Some of the biggest lessons about Earthlings we have learned. We learned them here. This made us think. Instead of focusing on finding a breeding partner, we should focus on learning how to properly communicate with Earthlings properly. Sounds like a good strategy. That is why we asked you to allow us to work here. Because you want to interact with our customers? That is correct. Hmm, I'm not sure about this. Neil, normally if you're applying for a job on Earth, you have to go through certain processes before you finally get the job. If you get it at all. Oh. Let me think this over, if you don't mind. And I'll let you know tomorrow. Oh, no. We are sorry for our spontaneity. But it has to be today. May I know why? Because we are leaving for an event tomorrow. Okay. Leaving for what? Okay, thank you. But with one condition, you won't be making any drinks. I'll handle that. Once I'm done, you'll give the cup to the customer. Understood. There are other things you need to keep in mind. What is that? Dealing with the customers. Some people come here just to chill. They might come just for a drink, work, or to read something. I strongly suggest you let them be. But always be prepared if they want to talk about anything. How can we know whether people want to be left alone or not? That won't be easy. But you'll be able to judge based on their body language. Non-verbal signs? Yes. That will be very hard for us. Indeed. Don't worry. I'll give you a sign. When you should start talking. Or when you should stop. Thank you. We will need that so much. Well, that's basically all you need to do here. Do we need a special outfit to do the job? Not really. I'll lend you an apron though, to keep your suit clean. And to differentiate you from the other customers. You don't really need more differentiation, but it will make you look more legit for the job. That is a very earthling thing to do. It is. Alright then, are you ready for this? We are. Okay, let's start the night. Welcome. Holy, wow! What the hell is happening? Good evening, Miss Freya. Hey, Arkaplisa, what's going on here? Well, Neil is working here tonight. I thought I was the one who brought bad news. I never thought this place would be ground zero for an alien invasion. Heh, <laughs> it's not that. Nearly's just helping out. You've never looked like someone who needs help. There are a few things to clarify, Miss Freya. First, our mission was never about conquering Earth. In fact, it is the other way around. Second, judging from the situation, we are actually the person who is getting help from the barista, not the other way around. What? We have learned some things since we arrived, and we have come to the conclusion before starting another breeding mission 
We should learn about how Earthlings communicate. We thought this place was the best place to learn. And you just agreed to this? On one condition. I make the drinks. Neil will only be here to serve and communicate. Fair trade. What's in it for you then? What? You're helping them here. What do you get in return? Now that you mention it. If there's anything you want from us, please do not hesitate to ask. Don't mention it. Well, maybe you can be my next story. I can write an article about your work here. Freya. If I still need to write for the paper again. What happened? The chief found out. Oh, is that why you didn't come yesterday? Yeah. How did she find out? You remember my fateful meeting with the higher up in the elevator? Yes. The same thing happened with my chief. They met each other in the lift and the higher up mentioned our encounter to her. Uh oh. The chief called me into her office and things went downhill from there. She realized immediately that it was the reason for my poor performance lately. She didn't like it, of course. Sorry to hear that. What are you gonna do now? Write a goddamn novel, I guess. And after that? I hope that it sells well. If not, I don't know. We do not understand what it is really happening, Miss Freya. But we feel the immense sadness and frustration you feel. How about a warm cup of drink? It is on the house. Huh? Are you allowed to do that? We will pay for the drink. Ah, uh, it's okay. It's on the house. It was a nice thing to do, Neil. That was the best thing to do according to our senses. It was. So, what do you want to drink, Miss Freya? Your favourite. Our favourite? Anything. I trust you with the decision. His favourite was the, um... Here's your drink, especially crafted by the owner of this coffee shop. Well, who else is going to brew it? Thank you so much for this. I always wondered why your place only served hot drinks, but today I might have an idea why. How far are you with the novel? I can prepare this draft in a few days, I think. Now that I don't really need to care about our deadlines, and if I manage to infuse some coffee and creativity into my blood, that sounds doable, even without the caffeine infusion. Excuse me, Miss Freya. We have learnt extensively about Earthlings' bodies, about all the races, and we do not think infusing your blood with coffee would be advisable. Ugh. I'm sorry, Neil. I'm not really in the mood for this sort of conversation. It was just... Neil. Freya wasn't serious about infusing herself with coffee. Oh. We are glad to hear that then. That was a figure of speech, Neil. Ah, we have heard of that term. It is still very hard to understand your language. It will always be hard. Languages will keep on changing. Understood. At least we are here now to learn the basics of how Earthlings communicate. Miss Freya, if we may ask. Ask away. How fast do you write? Not fast enough, apparently. But do you have numbers? Numbers? How many words do you produce per day? Um, I don't think I have an exact number. But full time, I should be able to write between three and four thousand words per day. That's a lot. That's raw. After that, I still need to edit it. I usually end up with about half of what I originally wrote. According to our research, the standard number of words for the thing you need to write is between 50 and a hundred thousand. That's right. But for this draft, I don't need to write that much. That is a pleasant information to hear. How many words do you need to write? Let's see. I think it should be around 15,000 words. That's pretty big for a pitch draft. Well, it's GRA Media, the biggest publisher around. 
If we count based on number of words, it seems like you'll be able to achieve your target easily. I wish. Writing isn't only a number of words, Neil. It requires things outside of mere word count. If we only judged writers by their ability to write a large amount of words, then we wouldn't have poetry or short stories. That is pretty hard to understand, but we learnt for beforehand that art is a difficult matter. Even for Earthlings. Yup. Earthlings seem to have a fascination for things which are hard to understand, from language to arts. Write again. But you're not that wrong about writing, you know. Word count is one of the few things you can objectively judge a story by. It's not the most important thing, but it's still up there. So it is still a valid parameter? Definitely. Cool. That didn't sound at all like you, Neil. I guess you really are learning something on Earth. Oh, another guest. Good evening, Miss Myrtle. I won't even ask. Except for one thing. Who's making the drinks? I'm still responsible for that one. Good. Coffee with a little bit of ginger, please. music in this is so good your order is ready not bad thanks you are welcome what brings you here today miss Birdle? S neil some people come to a coffee shop just to sit without being disturbed oh that definitely seems to fit miss metal's visits here actually i'm not here to just sit without being disturbed huh pardon us I was just training Neil in how to talk with the customers here. I can see that. You're still trying to get laid? Uh, oh, no, we are not. We are tasked with learning how Earthlings communicate with each other. Yeah, that's a step in the right direction. One suggestion, if you want to blend in with us, stop using such formal language. Start talking the way we talk. Start listening the way we listen. Which essentially is not really listening at all. That would be very difficult to achieve, but we will try, step by step. One step, <laughs> one small step for you might be one giant leap for your kind. That was nicely said, Miss Freya. By the way, Miss Myrtle, now that we know you are not here for your usual activities, are you here for someone then? Yeah. Oh, is it Akla? Uh-huh. What's the occasion? No special occasion. It's just... It's just what, Myrtle? It's just what, Myrtle? I'm sorry. I'm late. I was supposed to leave early, but... What is this? What's happening here? Oh, I already told the barista to call the cops when he said he wanted to breathe. Breed. Where is Akapalisa? Miss Aqua, please relax, I'm here. Oh, you're safe. Yes, everything's fine. Oh, okay. Please let me take a breath. Yeah, please drink this water. Feeling better now? Yes. I'm sorry. It's alright, Miss Aqua. Everyone has been surprised to see me here. What are you doing here anyway? We are starting to think that we might need to make a recording for the answer to this question. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. No problem, Miss Aqua. It is time for our break anyway, so here is the deal. That's really interesting. Very nice of you to do this, Akapalisa. It's nothing really. But do you really think that one day is enough to learn everything? Definitely not. But we do not want to disturb this place's business for any longer. As if this place cares about business. Besides, we want to travel around the planet more. This coffee shop is a good start. But we cannot limit ourselves to just one place. 
Where do you want to go after this? Couchella. Okay. What? What are you going to do at Couchella? According to our research, there are many breedings happening during Couchella. <laughs> well, that is why we decided that the event will be our next target. Well, you're not wrong. But didn't you say the baby has to be born out of love? Yes, we noticed that. But we also noticed that we need to know a lot more about earthlings, including the breeding manners. That is what we will be studying in Couchella. After that, we will be very ready to breed with so many female earthlings. I shouldn't say this, but hell. That sounds like the best plan you've had since you got here. We know. We also surprised ourselves. But please, Miss Freya, let us stop talking about our plan. We work here today. First, let us return to our spot behind the bar. So our discussion with Miss Myrtle was stopped abruptly. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. What are you two doing together? Uh, it's nothing. We're just friends, you know? We just want to hang out and talk about our work. We both work in the same field, remember? Yeah, yeah, that's it. We're on a secret date. I don't have that much experience in game development, you see? I thought your research was in computer graphics. Yes, but I've never made a game from scratch before. I was always a bystander, so I've been asking Myrtle for feedback from time to time. Today I wanted to thank her directly, but she arrived first, so I couldn't buy her a drink. Never mind that, I'd refuse it anyway. But, wait, if you wanted to thank her directly, does it mean you're done with the game? Excuse me, Miss Freya. It should be your, not your. Oh, so you are correcting my grammar now, huh? It was a slip of the tongue, okay? I'm sorry. How did you even pick up on that anyway? It's not like what I'm saying is written down <laughs> anyway. Oh, definitely not. Definitely not written on the screen for everybody to see. No, 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 no. We just know. Back to you, Aqua. So, you're done with your game. There's quite a lot of things I need to polish and fix, but the players can enjoy the experience from start to finish. What kind of feedback do you give people for a video game? That depends on the game, but in Aqua's case, most of my advice was around pacing, control, and UI slash UX. Ugh. It must be fun to have finished working on your creation. It surely removed some of the weight off my chest, just to replace it with another weight. You mean there's still more to come after you're done? I'm not done with my book. I just lost my job. And if I can't finish this draft on time, I'm done. And even after that, if it doesn't sell well, I'm even more done. Doubly done. I'm sorry to hear that, Freya. But please be more confident. I'm even starting to doubt myself. I read some of your short stories, you know. After our first meeting, I subscribed to the Evening Whispers app. And then I read some of the stuff you wrote. You're really good, you know. Some of them are better than others, but it's still an enjoyable experience to read them. So I'm excited to check out your book once it's done. You're too kind, Aqua. What are you going through? What you're going through is more or less the same as what Myrtle's going through. So I'm sure you'll both be fine. You don't have to talk about it in front of other people. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. It's just that sharing is caring, you know? Okay, okay. Thank you for helping me share with other people. I really am sorry. I know, I said thanks already, right? But you put so much emphasis on share. That's sarcasm, I know that. Aqua. I'm sorry if it sounded that way, but 
Yeah, I kind of get what you're dealing with. Although it's a bit different from me. What's your problem? Burnout. I've been working on something for two years straight. And no one outside of the office knows about it. And those who do don't seem to appreciate it at all. I thought Full Metal Conflict had a new game every two years. Yeah. I don't really work on them. Not directly. So what do you work on? A secret project. I'll tell you under a friendie, okay? And non-disclosure agreement. All right, I'm not with the paper anymore anyway. I'm part of a special team. We're tasked with making a breakthrough in the studio. We need to be able to make a prototype for a new IP. Or worst case, another FMC game in a different genre. Isn't that a dream job for some people? <laughs> That's what I thought at first. You're a writer, right? Imagine being a writer, but you can't publish anything you write. For years. That doesn't sound like a pleasant situation at all. My team has been making pictures. Dozens of them. Hundreds. Thousands. Out of all of those countless pictures, only a handful got approved for prototyping. And so far, none of the prototypes have been approved. Ouch. Only, there's only seven of us on the team. The seven samurai. That's what they said. So you haven't released anything for the last two years? Sometimes our team works to support others. When they're going through a crunch cycle. They need to hit an almost impossible target. And we jump in. No wonder you folks were considered the seven samurai. I guess, yeah. By the way, Myrtle, I just realized. What? Usually developers get their own vacation time after finishing a project, right? More or less, yeah. When was the last time you had a vacation? <laughs> too long, too long. Before I joined the company, I guess. That's like four years ago. Uh-huh. Dude, no wonder you're so burnt out. The determination. Yeah, that's why. You need a vacation. But I can't just take one. You can. In fact, you will do it tomorrow. But tomorrow is... I'm not done yet. You will take tomorrow, the day after, and another day after off. But where should I go? Don't worry, I'll take care of that. You will? I'm going with you for this long weekend vacation. What about Max West? That's not this weekend. Forget about it for now. Hey, 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 okay. But I can't do it tomorrow. How about starting Friday? It's still a long weekend getaway, right? Hmm. All right. Oh, I'm so excited. Wow, Aqua. You look like a different person. Really? I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be. Okay, it's settled then. I need to go home now. Prepare for our getaway. I'll come with you. Uh, to my apartment? No, we'll walk together to the bus stop, just like last time. Oh. Okay then. Everyone, see you next week, okay? Have fun. Take care out there. May you find joy during your vacation. She not going with her or? Okay, see you folks later. There we go. And then there were three. Vacation, huh? You definitely need one, Freya. I know. But not now. I've got to finish this draft first. As we have said before, you can do it, Miss Freya. Thanks, Neil. Anyway, are you going to close anytime soon? It depends. Why? I'm in the mood for some writing. Then please, take your time. You sure? Do you want another drink to be going on with? Still on the house. I definitely won't say no. Adorable.